Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It is Thursday. Today, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, February the 22nd. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning. Uh, where this year, it's funny how stuff works out, isn't it? Uh, this year we're going to be talking about how to create, at least for a while, how to create the life you crave. And, um, yesterday, you know how they say, you know, sometimes you have good days and sometimes you have bad days when you have these sorts of things going on. Well, yesterday was, you know, one of those not good days. So I just, I just kind of powered through that and, uh, and got through it the best I could, but I'm here now today. So thanks for putting up with that and, uh, and tolerating that. And, and, you know, you guys are very supportive. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good morning, Joe. Hey, yeah, just like Joe did. If you're watching, whether you're watching live or on the replay, leave me a comment. Let me know that you are here. I enjoy that. I enjoy seeing those comments come rolling in. All right. So, um, today I wanted to talk about, I had to look at my notes over here on the whiteboard. Um, this whole idea that I've been talking about for the, the, you know, better part of 2018 so far is to stop letting life happen to you and begin to create the life you crave. All right. And so there's a whole series of things that I want to kind of pull apart and poke at and, and get your feedback on. I mean, I, you know, this is, this can be a two way interactive thing. Hey, George, good morning. Uh, good to see you this morning too. So today I want to talk about creating control. You know, one of the things that uh, a lot of people feel is that they have no control. You know, I, that there's life just happens to me. That, I mean, that's kind of the basis of this whole theory that we're talking about. Life just happens to me. I don't have any control over the outcomes. I'm just existing. And as that plays out, that can be a very um, discouraging place to be. And so the encouragement for you today is to begin creating control. Well, how do you do that? Well, the simple way to do that, and you guys know I'm all about simple, right? The simple way to do that is to create some goals. Create some outcome. If you don't like to call them goals, okay, great. Create some outcomes that you want to pursue. Go, go on a trip. You know, if, and, and I, you know, I, I've, I've said that more and more stories about my son will come out as, as time goes by. This is, I mean, this one just plays in really well here. And, and this is something that he was challenged with, you know, felt like didn't have, have control over things in his life. But then when he wanted to go on a trip, he'd plan the trip, get to the airport, get to the hotel, go where he wanted to go, get back. Right. So when you set an outcome that you are intent on creating, especially a smaller one, like a trip, then that can become a great motivating factor for you. Something to focus your attention, your energies on, something that you can pursue, something with a definite finish, a deadline. All of those things can help, help you create that sense of control, especially if the bigger picture feels like you have no control. In my life, I have no control. In my business, I have no control. But on Thursday, I have control on Thursday. Right. So by, un by, by creating these outcomes, these objectives that you intend to create, then you can back into the tasks that need to occur. So it's taking a vacation, taking a trip, and, you know, got to buy the tickets, find a hotel, get to the airport. All those things then become the tasks that you need to accomplish and you can focus your attention on that. Now, the cool thing that happens when you do that, right, is brain chemistry kicks in. So two things are activated when you do that. Number one is your reticular activation system. When you start thinking about a trip to the beach, then everything you see gets related to the beach somehow. 
And your brain's really cool how it handles all that work for you. It's like when you buy a car, right? You, 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 you go to the lot, you buy this car, and as soon as you drive it off the lot, it feels like everybody in town's driving one just like it, right? Even though they've been driving them all along, you just weren't seeing them. That's your brain that says, ooh, this is something I need to pay attention to now. So number one's your reticular activation system. Number two, as that little dopamine pump gets into overdrive, as you begin to finish those tasks that lead you toward that outcome, then you get these little shots of dopamine, right? And that dopamine can overtake the cortisol that's making you feel like you're not in control, right? So you get all of the positive effects of having a sense of control, having a sense of accomplishment and completion without having to solve the big problem of, you know, 10xing my income this year. Well, okay, that's, that's my annual goal, but for February, I need to do X amount. So what can I do to do X? Uh, February's got four weeks. What do I need to do this week? Okay, in order to do that this week, I need to do this on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Right, and then focus on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The big things will take care of themselves if you do the little things. And the little things might not be easy, but they're simple. Just like the board back here on the wall, right? If it's too big to write on one sticky, then I haven't broken it down far enough. Right? That that's the rule. Right? So, or if I, you know, if I find myself making little tick marks under it for the checklist, no, no, those little tick marks need to be their own sticky. Break it down into those units that are small enough for you to handle. And then just start knocking them out. Before you know it, you'll shift from this out of control to in control. Right? That's it. That's the show for today. I hope that's been helpful. If uh, you know somebody that this could be helpful to, please be sure and share the share and the channel with them. I would appreciate that. Hey, if you're listening on your podcast catcher, you can catch the video replay on Facebook anytime you want. Go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll take you to the right place, and uh, you can watch the videos. And if you're watching the video and you like to listen on the podcast, or you'd rather listen to the podcast, it's on iTunes, Stitcher, Tune in just about everywhere you can find a podcast on the Internet. That's it for today. It is Thursday. That means it's Thankful Thursday. Find something to be thankful for today if you are so bold. Leave that in the comments. Let me know what you're thankful for on this fantastic Thursday. And uh, my plan is to be back tomorrow. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do a show tomorrow. And... Uh, That's it. We'll wrap it up for today. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. I'll talk to you then.